May I take just a little time and begin with a simple rhyme to take a minute or two and present to me to you our next proclamation recognized all around the nation, April 2021 to be National Month of Poetry. I will now like to ask Kelsey to do the task into the record this to read, followed by Ms. Stone's comments, heed. Proclamation by the Board of County Commissioners of St. John's County, Florida. Whereas National Poetry Month is traditionally celebrated during the month of April throughout the United States of America, with 2021 making the 25th anniversary of this national celebration. And whereas St. John's County has a 200 year history as the home or source of inspiration for numerous literary legends, including renowned authors, Marjorie Kinnon Rawlings, Zora Neale Hurston, and Pulitzer Prize winning poet, William Rose Bennett. And whereas this literary tradition continues today through the work of local authors, supported in their efforts by organizations such as Ancient City Poets and our local arts agency, the St. John's Cultural Council. And whereas the literary arts enrich the lives of our residents and visitors of St. John's County. Now therefore it be proclaimed by the Board of County Commissioners of St. John's County, Florida, that April 2021 be designated as National Poetry Month calling upon our citizens to celebrate and promote the literary traditions in St. John's County and contributions of local authors during this month and throughout the year, passed and adopted by the Board of County Commissioners of St. John's County, Florida, the sixth day of April, 2021, attest Brandon J. Patty, Clerk of Courts, Board of County Commissioners of St. John's County, Jeremiah Ray Blocker, Chairman. Thank you, on behalf of Ms. Stone, on behalf of the St. John's County Board of County Commissioners, I'd like to present you this proclamation. Thank you. Thank you. I did not know I had to follow a poetry recitation by uh, Commissioner Smith. That was outstanding. The St. John's Cultural Council is fortunate to work with many outstanding arts organizations in our role as local arts agency for the county. None of those works harder or more enthusiastically than Ancient City Poets. I learned yesterday that Ancient City Poets was founded in 2009 during a Poetry Month collaboration with the Cultural Council. That makes it even more special to honor them today and to celebrate Poetry Month throughout April by collaborating on events held throughout the county that we hope all of you will attend. Meanwhile, I would like to invite founder and poet Chris Boder to tell you a little bit more about Ancient City Poets and to share one of his poems with you. Never give a poet a microphone. <laughs> Second growing season outside our cafe windows and our souvenir shop doors. April reveals days of new growth. St. John's County's second growing season, a knowing that soon jasmine blooms will burst like an expensive broken perfume bottle. A garden will flourish in the nursery, in the neighborhood, in the nation. New plantings protected underground during the stretch of unpredictable winter weather. This is our second growing season. You can applaud. <laughs> First, I would like to thank my employer for giving me this morning off uh, so I could be here with you guys. Um, I don't make an income off of my day job. I mean, I don't make an income off of poetry, so I have to have a day job. It's the way I put food on the table. So again, I'm grateful to my uh, employer for this morning off. The first growing season was when uh, Glenda Bailey Marchand started up this uh, Poetry Month celebration. It was going on a, a national level, and she did it with the Cultural Council. She looked through the directory of all the writers and the poets in the directory and called us together, and we gathered for National Poetry Month in April of 2009. And then in August, I said, can I take the name and go to a coffee shop and turn on a microphone and see what happens. Every month for the last 11 years, we've been gathering, and during COVID, we went on Zoom 
and uh, we got an international audience. So now an international audience knows about the local poetry scene here in St. John's County. So, uh, you know, I am forever grateful for this opportunity to share a poem with you guys. You never thought you were going to hear poetry at a commissioner meeting, but you got to hear two amazing poems. So thank you again for the proclamation. The proclamation is our second growing season here in St. John's County. Thank you.